Peace. Um, <clears throat> we're going to talk about Elif Lam Mim. What is Elif Lam Mim? Elif Lam Mim, um, as I um, learned from Sam Garrett, is a code. It's a, it's a code or a symbol for something. Um, all those different letters are codes or a symbol for something. I don't know what they are, but I think, I believe, and trust, I've figured out what Alif Lam mean is, according to what the Quran, the reading, says Alif Lam mean is. <clears throat> right? And for my research, Alif Lam mean appears at 2 1, 3 1, and 32 1. And 2 1 and 32 1. Are kind of similar, right? <laughs> um, there we go. Two one, Alif Lam Mim. Two two, that is the law. No doubt concerning it, right? Um, Alikitab, Alikitab, Kitab means law, book, mandate, decree, to write, documentation, to document. You know what I mean? It, it means all these things. But in this context, it does not mean a book. It means a law. Right? An established law. Right? Because it begins in two. Valika. Valika means that. That. For well, all the translators translate Valika as this. Hava is this. Valika is that. So Alif Lam Mim is the law, is the is the kitab. Alif Lam Mim is the kitab, right? Valika, that is the law. That is al kitabu. No doubt concerning it. La raiba fihi. This is important. La raiba fihi. No doubt concerning it. Why? We will go on and see. In three nine. Our Lord, you will gather the people to a day. Let no doubt concerning it. La Rai Bafihi. God won't break the appointment. See? So Alif Lam Mim is the law. What is the law? The law is the last day. See? Our Lord, you will gather the people to a day. No doubt concerning it. La Right? Again. 325. So how so how will it be when we gather them to a day? La Raibafihi. No doubt concerning it. Okay. So we know this is the day of debt. Yomit Ding, the day of debt. Now we go to 1037. I'm I'm just going to the parts so you can you can read the full proof, the full I ask yourself. 1037. And a detail. A detail of the law. No doubt concerning it. Al Kitabu La Raibafihi. Again, right? So this is this sort of the the reading, the Quran is a detail of it gives you the detail of the law. But there's no doubt, right? Seventeen ninety nine and made for them a term. No doubt concerning it. Now eighteen ninety nine. Eighteen ninety nine. That they might know. That the promise of God is true, and that the hour, no doubt concerning it, la Okay. Twenty-two, seven. And that the hour is coming, no doubt concerning it, la Right. Twenty-two, fifteen. Thirty-two-one, 
Alif Lam Mim 32.2 Supplying of the law No doubt concerning it Al Kitabi La Raiba Fihi In the word uh, To send down um, To nazalu To send down Nazalu To send down But I use the word apply, Supply or to equip You know what I mean <clears throat> I mean the same difference um, 4059. The hour is coming, no doubt concerning it. Let it right, but he 427. And you warn of the day of gathering, no doubt concerning it. Let it right, but he 4526. Say, God causes your life, then causes your death. Then gathers you to the upholding day, Yomelukiyama, the upholding day. No doubt concerning it. And last but not least, 45:32. And when it is said to them, oh, and when it is said, the promise of God is true. In the hour, no doubt concerning it. So, so in my analysis, this tells me from what the reading is saying is that Elif Lam Mim is the code for the law of Yom Al Qiyamah, Al Akhirah. Right. So, as you see the other ayahs, the other proofs that speaks about the the garden, the fire, uh. The, the blessings, the punishment, what's going to happen, the sky will crack and break on that day, the mountains will crush, the earth will be flat, leveled. You know, the earth will become a new earth and the sky will become a new sky. I don't, you know what I mean? As the reading say, but that is what Ali Flamim is. Who did the Muttaqin? That is the law, no doubt concerning it, a guide for those who are cautious. Cautious. Okay? Peace.